Oh, he is big. Jeez. Just found out he was hooked. Does not want to come in. He thumped it. Big boy. Ah. Oh, medium action rod too. Top water baby. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful redfish on top water. Let's see. Yep, out of red. All right, good day so far, man. I already picked up two trout over 20 inches. Just cruising the docks. Again, I got it turned down a little bit, not to give away the spot too much so I can fish it. I'm trying out a new wind muff here. It finally just came in from Amazon. I know they've been swamped, but uh, hopefully it does the ticket. We'll find out when I get home and check the video, but just throwing under docks little Texas side jig head with a Z-Man scented pogey on it. That's been killing the reds. Oh, just hooked up again. Come off. It's been killing the reds lately, but, you know, under the docks, as you saw in my last video. But the trout bite here, for some reason, crushed it. Like I said, I've got a couple already around that 20-inch mark. Just fishing slow. We got a super tide today with a pretty high and negative low tide. So this tide is ripping right now. It's still going out. Let's see if we can't get another one to bite here on film. Oh, yep. Just missed it. Okay, so they're just off a little drop off off this dock. Let's see if I can get them to come in. Just a little twitch. I'm not even lifting it up. I'm trying to keep it lower in the water column as it's getting close to low, so it's pretty shallow. But the trout that I've caught so far were were big. Usually you keep those trout, you catch the small ones, they're all small. You catch a bigger one, your chances of them all being bigger are great, especially during the winter time. I think this will produce a bite right here. I'll put it right in a good spot. Man, it's a subtle bite. Very subtle bite. Hey, there's Mr. Hat. A little too far out of my reach, and I don't have my net on me yet. <laughs> Bet you he's got seen some things. There he is. Oh, if that's a trout, it's a big one. This may be a red. Yes, red fish. All right, so after two big trout, come up with a red. I like that. All right. Crush that pogey. It's my new favorite bait, for at least for the week, or for the last couple weeks, for the month. Nice little juvenile red. He's gone about 15 inches. The bite is real subtle. Oh, there's one. That is a trout. A big, big trout. This will go 20 inches all day. Finally got the net up. Oh, he looks bigger. He's probably 18, 19. All right. That is a nice trout. This guy will go angle up a bit. He'll go 19. Nope, 18 and a half, 18 and a half inches. 
beautiful fish. That's the third one. He's probably the smallest album, but still a great trout. 18 and a half inch trout. I'm gonna let him go here. I'm not keeping any fish. I do like to keep a trout once in a while, but I've got a few in the freezer from past trips. All right, see you later, bud. I believe it was a redfish. I didn't even feel it. It was so subtle. Picked it up. Again, another 15 inch or so. A little smaller, but the reds aren't really like, in my experience, aren't really like the trout where they you get a small school, or if you're picking smaller trout, then you're usually going to pick smaller trout in that, in that school. But the redfish don't seem to be like that. You'll get a few small ones and think they're going to all be small, then you'll whop a 30 inch or so. Good job, bud. All right, thanks for coming. All right, skipping back in under the docks. The reds seem to be close to under there, and if you don't get hit there, it's been a pleasure to get the trout out front, man. That doesn't happen too often, man. When it does, days like this, when they come together, it's fun. I've only got about an hour and a half to fish. Thank you. 